It's time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Welcome, everyone, to another wonderful episode. I am always grateful and always happy to have such wonderful guests. And um, the furthest anyone has ever traveled to be a guest on New Wellness Healthcare uh, with me is uh, my guest today from Japan. So I just want to thank him from the bottom of my heart that he traveled all the way uh, from Japan to be a guest on the show. And my other guest also took a nice plane ride here, but he is in California. Mm -hmm. So I just want to thank you so much for tuning in today because what we're going to discuss is going to help save lives. And I, you know, normally don't do uh, so much of a product show, but the reason why I'm doing this show for many reasons, because this particular company, this particular product covers so many modalities as far as the body to heal. So many. And it's so important that you know this, because we know number one is prevention. Prevention is the key. And it's so late when people find out, you know, I have all these other things going on. So we're not making any claims. But what I want to say, prevention is always the key. Prevention, prevention, prevention. So our title today is BRM4, a clinic, um, BRM4, a natural immune modulator. Natural immune modulator. So we're going to go through the show and talk about what is an immune modulator? What is the benefits? What are, and, uh, there aren't any side effects, so this is a food. It is a food product. So I have two wonderful guests with me who have traveled far, one further than the other. And I want to first introduce the one who traveled the furthest. So Mr. Norish Wright. Norish Wright. Norish Wright. Thank you so much. And, and please forgive me. But you are just an amazing. And so, and then my second guest here is Dr. Kenner. Thanks for having me. And Thank you, you know, for it's a pleasure. Yeah. It's a pleasure for you both mm. to be here. Thank you for so, we're going to jump right in because we have one hour. And I know that because we have so many wonderful information to share on something that's going to benefit the whole family, not just one person, but the whole family. So, we want to first jump in with Dr. Um, Dr. Kenner. And I want you just to tell people who you are. Well, I um, have practiced. Um, Oriental medicine and naturopathic medicine in uh, California for uh, a little over 30 years. And before that, I trained in Japan. So I'm licensed to practice in Japan and I'm licensed to practice in uh, California. But uh, my ambition was always to, to, uh, to be a writer. I've, I've constantly been studying and researching. And uh, so I've studied in France and I've studied in Germany as well as, well as in Japan. And uh, I was interested in, in uh, meeting doctors who practice, uh, who treat cancer without chemotherapy or radiation, who treat infections without antibiotics, uh, who yes. treat chronic diseases and uh, uh, help people transform their lives. And uh, so I didn't stop in uh, Japan and China. I also looked in, in France and in Germany and in Switzerland. And so I've been, uh, uh, I've been studying that you know all my life and using it with uh, with my patients during right. that time and you know even though um you've been in california as mm -hmm. well uh we met in japan that's right because mm -hmm. this wonderful company that we're going to get more involved with um invited me to travel to japan to be part of this wonderful big medical symposium from doctors from all over the world it was so amazing I would really like to show some of the pictures, but just truly, truly amazing to have met doctors and practitioners from all over the world. Because even myself, I've been a practitioner for over 35 years, and not that I've traveled. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tag along and shadow you <laughs> mm -hmm. because of the information you have. It's just amazing. But um, I've been with this this company for greater than 20 years, much greater than 20. And the things that I have seen, it's just been amazing. You know, not as sometimes a standalone, but 
a, one of the one key products that really add to the to our program. So now I'm going to have my dear guest here to tell people a little bit about yourself as well. Thank you so much. Um, for s uh, once again, thank you for having me here. Oh, my thank name you is Norish. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my name is Norish Rai. I'm uh, executive executive director of Daiwa Pharmaceutical, uh, which is a manufacturer and a supplier of this BRM4. Uh, we are producing this active ingredient of a BRM4. We've been in the market for 30 years, and um, this product is really amazing, and it, it's, uh, we, we call it a life-changing product. And, uh, and also, thanks to the, all the support from the doctors and health practitioners, they are really trusting our products. And uh, we are always uh, spending our uh, investment to the research and mm -hmm. development. And that's, that's who I am. And okay. thank you for much having here again. Oh, wonderful. Research, research, research is yes. the key. I yes. mean, there's so many things out on the shelf now, and people are making claims here and there. We have to be very careful. We make no claims. All I can do is tell you testimonies, including my own self, of what it has done for me, but no claims we're making. But what's important, too, when something is on the market is the research. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, an apple is an apple is an apple, or a rose is a rose is a rose. But for you to get the right combination of a blend of something that's going to help synergistically help you to heal your body is very important. So I want to um, move on to some of the other uh, benefits. So we're going to come back to our wonderful doctor here who's going to tell us a little bit of the benefits. Okay, well, <coughs> BRM4 no. is a, uh, it's, it's the, the product name of a professional line. I think it's the, the strongest product. Uh, Mr. Shirai can correct me if, I, if I'm mistaken, but it contains something called RBAC. Okay. Not to, not to initial us to death, but that's rice bran arabinoxylin compound. So it's made from rice bran, yes. and it's a cultured product like miso, like sauerkraut, like uh, yogurt or any of the fermented foods. And the, the fermentation process uh, has additional benefits because mushrooms themselves don't digest that easily, but when, it's, when, uh, it's, uh, when the mushroom culture is used in a rice bran medium, you get all the benefits of mushrooms plus additional benefits from the fact that they're fermented, they're more biologically available, and there, there are new compounds that are, that are in it that are not in the original uh, mushroom, which in, in this case is uh, shiitake. Okay. And, you know, a lot of people know about that one, too. You know, before, I kind of jumped ahead of myself here, too. Uh, immune modulator. So uh, let's go back and discuss what are immune modulators. Not to confuse it with a lot of people are on immunosuppressants. So I don't want people confused that immunosuppressants and immune modulator. So let's talk a little bit, because that's what BRM4 is, a natural immune modulator. So naturally, what is it doing for the body? Every cell I know is working. So, doctor, I'm going to let you take it over from here okay. and explain to people. Well, an immune modulator will, will both stimulate or it will suppress mm -hmm. according to what the body's needs are. Uh, one example of this is, for example, uh, with a... Uh, a cancer patient, it will stimulate interferon and another uh, cytokine. A cytokine is a, is a chemical messenger like a, like a hormone is in the endocrine system. The cytokine is a chemical messenger in the immune system. And uh, interferon is probably the most famous of the cytokines. Yes. There's another one called a tumor necrosis factor. And the, the levels of interferon and tumor necrosis factor will be elevated in a cancer patient. But on the other hand, if tumor necrosis factor is too high, mm -hmm. as in a case of inflammation like rheumatoid arthritis, then using uh, the RBAC, the, the BRM4, will actually lower it. Mm -hmm. So it helps the immune system do what it's trying to do. And that, that's why I've, I've called it uh, a smart food. Smart food? Yeah, mm. because it, it That's knows the first time I heard of that one, though. Well, smart I, I, food. Made that, I, I just that. made that up. <laughs> it, 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 uh, <laughs> but it seems to know what to do once it gets in there. Oh, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it does. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I've compared it and as you as we, get, as we go through this interview, what it does for the body showing it. And we have proof. Everybody know me. I test, not guess. 
I test and assess. Mm -hmm. So because I'm doing that, I'm looking at lab work as mm -hmm. we go through this. So we can see the difference. You're going to feel the difference. And I know I feel always feel great. And this is something that's part of my, my daily regimen. And I can't say I take it every day, but at least every week mm -hmm. I'm taking mine. You know, because I did have some challenges in the past, so I don't need to take it every day. But it's just amazing for prevention. People say, well, oh, you, my goodness, you saw all these people with the flu and the cold. And, you know, in California, we had all these fires. And we had people with so many conditions. They said, but you didn't get sick. I said, no, I didn't. I, I wasn't looking forward to getting sick. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't look forward to it. But when you keep your immune system strong enough and healthier and you're taking the right immune modulator, then th look what's going to happen. Prevention is the key. Mm -hmm. Prevention. Now that conference in, in Kyoto where we met, uh, I had a, a very simple presentation showing some blood work. I see a lot of cancer patients because I have a book called The, the Whole Body Workbook for Cancer. Let's slow yeah. that down a little bit and see if, see if um, Tony can find it. Uh, and for those who are, are just listening to the show, I want to thank you. You can go to visit our YouTube channel, mm -hmm. New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee, and watch the show. But right now, for those who are listening, because we have a large listening audience, we just picked up a new company, Interlight Radio, and I'm so happy that they're on board now to listen to the show. But if you want to watch it, you can go to our YouTube channel as well. So I, I am just so excited that we're discussing this, and I just wanted to put it in a little sidebar so people can know, because we're at iHeartRadio, and Tony could probably tell me all the rest of them, mm -hmm. too, iTunes, and we're, we're everywhere. So a lot of people are going to have a chance to really benefit from what we have to say today. And that's my prayer for doing this in the first place, is to spread the word, mm -hmm. spread the healing word to as many people as possible. So I didn't mean to cut you off, but I'm going to let you go ahead now. Well, I, I'm not actually promoting the book because a, a patient of mine bought the last copy on Amazon, and so it's going to be out of print for a couple of months. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but I don't even have a copy. Oh, <laughs> didn't I give you a copy? No. Well, <laughs> I've got a couple of copies at home. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll thank get you. One, get one for you. <laughs> but uh, you. I, I see a lot of uh, cancer patients, and uh, I do consulting with them. Uh, the book was written for people who are going to do chemotherapy and radiation. <coughs> Although through the years, most of my clients have been people who want alternative treatment and, and won't consider uh, conventional treatment. But uh, there are several things that I insist that uh, people take, and one of them is the BRN4, uh, yes. uh, BAC. Yes. And, uh, but there are other things that I use it for, too, besides cancer. I want to yeah. emphasize that. Well, and we want to, we want to definitely let's, – let's, let's go ahead and move into – the other benefits of the BRM4 because it's the benefits mm -hmm. that are so important. So let, let's start hitting those, those benefits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, Thank you. It's, uh, well, you know, being immune modulator is, is, a, is a huge benefit. Uh, it, uh, it strengthens immune activity. Uh, if the white blood cell count is low, it can bring it up. But one of the most noteworthy properties that it has is that it stimulates a type of immune system cell called a natural killer cell. Natural <coughs> killer cell. It's called an NK cell for yes, short. Yes, yes. And these are, these are scavenger cells. They're part of the innate immune system. They don't require uh, any antigen or uh, they don't produce antibodies. Uh, what they do is they destroy cancer cells, which we produce. In vertebrates produce cancer cells every day, you know, yes. by, by the hundreds, by the thousands. And they get destroyed by yes. uh, natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. The natural killer cells will also destroy a virus-infected cell, and they destroy normal cells at the end of their lifespan because when cells get old, they, they die like everything else. Yes. But if they don't get broken down and taken out, it creates a lot of congestion in the environment, uh, in the cellular environment. Cellular environment. And so if we don't have good... Uh, in case cell activity, the cellular environment can get very congested. Cancer cells don't get now, destroyed. Now, where is this getting congested? Is it in the capillaries, the small vessels? Where is it becoming congested, or what organs would you find it more congested? Well, um, throughout the connective tissue system. Okay. Uh, this this is where the, the lymph flows. This, this is the conduit. And uh, the, the cells themselves... Um, become dead weight, and so they're, they're basically a waste product. And being a, a waste product, not having any, any vital activity, 
and probably being filled with cellular waste that hasn't drained out, they have to be destroyed. And so the NK cell uh, destroys them as, as part of just the natural uh, flow of life because new cells are being produced all the time and the old dead ones have to be taken out. Now, when NK cell activity is low, this is a, a situation that can, can uh, result in uh, many types of chronic disease. And, uh, you know, cancer being just one of them, chronic viral infections. Mm -hmm. And so this is, I think, one of the biggest benefits of, uh, of using the, uh, the BRN4. Yeah. And we kind of spoke about that. I know we, did have, we do have a slide showing um, how does it work. But we're also talking about the benefits. So on the slide on how does it work, which shows uh, the benefits are there as well, which is really amazing. So you have used this for a number of conditions. I won't say use the word diseases, but just when the body's out of balance, conditions. Well, the, the common cold. Yeah. My, when my okay. son was, was little, uh, we would just give him a capsule to chew up. And uh, it's not candy, but it's, it's, it has a mildly sweet flavor. It, it's not so bad. He couldn't. He was too young to swallow a capsule, mm -hmm. but he'd chew it up, and and uh, it would uh, clear up his cold. We we hardly used anything else, you know. And I've got hundreds of Chinese herbs and Western herbs and and supplements, and that was really all all we used for that. Mm, my, wow! I didn't know there was a chewable. Well, it's not. Okay. <laughs> it's not. It's, 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 not. it's a capsule. Okay. But, but, but you know, he couldn't swallow well, it. And, yeah. And so you just open. Yeah. So we we would open or just put it in his mouth. And in his powder. And the good thing go about it too, these are in veggie capsules, right? Yes, they yeah. are. Yeah. yeah. They are in a veggie capsule. And I, I wanted to mm -hmm. to say that because we have so many people who, so many people, that are vegetarians, and I have to stretch, mm -hmm. you know, that. Ooh. And they look if they're going to do a capsule, they look for you know, a vegetarian. I tell people, you know, you want to make sure that you're getting the best quality of everything in your body so that you can heal. And this is definitely one. So let's go on and maybe, you know, um, we talked about it being a natural killer cell, which is really important, and an immune modulator. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and I loved what you said about the congestion because a lot of people are wondering why they have uh, lymphedema and they have the, all this congestion going on in the body. Well, you know, this is what's happening. Things are dying off. Mm -hmm. So as you're working with cancer patients and we're killing off some of the, you know, from based on research, uh, some of the things that are happening, then we must do other things to move that debris as well. But we'll get more into that. But dealing with the natural killer cell and seeing that whole vicious cycle, you know, I love the, the, the chart that shows a cycle of the natural killer cell and how mm -hmm. it's healing the body. So let's talk about some of the other benefits. Well, there's one other thing I'd like to say about natural killer cells that okay. I think is, is worth mentioning because natural killer cell activity is a real interface between mind and body. Natural I'm so happy you're saying that. Natural killer cell activity goes down when there's a trauma. And this has been researched with earthquakes, yes. floods, divorce, self-loathing. And then on the other hand... Self-loathing? Self-loathing. Lo uh, really? Uh, yeah, just being depressed and not liking yourself, that can lower Oh, the no, I've, se I've seen it, yes. And on the other hand, natural killer cell activity can be increased with music therapy... Laughter. Uh, qigong. Uh, well, mm -hmm. I don't know about laughter research, but the things that have been researched are, are deep tissue massage and uh, music therapy and, and uh, things like that. She gone. I'm glad you brought that up because I have a patient who uh, things turned around so fast with him. I told mm -hmm. him, well, not Tai Chi right now, but just try the Qi gone. Mm -hmm. And so many things turned around with him and his joy and his happiness mm -hmm. and his life, too. So let's repeat those again, please. Well, things that, that can help the natural yes. killer cell activity are, are uh, probably laughter or just about anything that that helps you feel and reduce, calm and, and reduce endorphins and, and yes. yeah improves your your sense of well-being mm -hmm. and just about any trauma and uh, you know i found a whole page of research of different traumas that have actually been researched and found to reduce natural killer cell activity such that natural killer cell activity reduction is almost a marker for stress a biological marker now, the number of, of cells doesn't go down. The, the number of them stays the same. But their activity, they become sluggish. 
and uh, you know an abnormal cell will go by and they'll be leaning against the wall you know and, and just let it pass normally they attach to an abnormal cell and inject it with enzymes and, and granules one's called uh, granzyme and it explodes it so that the abnormal cell is broken down into such tiny parts that it's easily drained and eliminated from the system mm. and that activity stops uh, but not the the existence or or the number of the cells and that's to me the interesting thing about it because it uh, really depends on on uh, your mental state yes and it shows yes. why people for example can lose a loved one or have a terrible accident yeah. and then they have a, a diagnosis of a terrible disease sometimes within weeks or months yes you know there was um uh a person who, a patient of mine, really, who had stage four. Mm -hmm. And he, th there's, there's three questions I ask people when they come to me. And I, I have to look them dead in their eyes. And I've said this many times on the show, but um, for those who are listening new today, is one, do you feel loved? Mm -hmm. You know, that is so important. Do you feel loved? Do you love yourself? Mm -hmm. And do you want to live? Mm -hmm. You know, those are three, to me, very important questions. And this one gentleman said, I love myself. I don't feel loved. You know, and when he said that, his wife was in the room with him, and she had tears coming down her eyes. And I said, well, let's just stop and let's just meditate and pray here. She didn't even want to touch the body. I'm like, well, this is, this is pretty sad. I said, well, you're going to have to make some changes. You know, maybe see a mar marriage counselor. I, I am uh, a coach as well. And so we did some things and talked over some things. But I can see she was really ready to leave that situation. But I said, you've got to make some changes so that you can be happy. Because if you don't detox your home of that negative stuff that's happening in your home, not the negative we know about environmental ind indoors, but the in emotional detox. Mm -hmm. That's what we have to do is an emotional detox then you're not going to heal. So he, it took about two months that he made up in his mind, and she said, you know, I'm really not in love with you. And uh, he said, well, we, sh we should go our separate ways. So they did. And do you know, less than a month. Now, he, I do IV therapy. He didn't have any more than five or six. Five or six IVs. He's on the BRM4. He's taking, you know, doing some others. But in less than two months, he went to zero. He's a VA patient. They did a PET scan. I'm not big on PETs, but he did, they did a PET scan, and they saw nothing. And they said, what happened here? I mean, how is it? They didn't believe it. They did, too. They repeated the PET scan. Nothing, because he let go of that stuff that didn't serve him in his mm -hmm. emotional realm. And when he, you let go of that that don't serve you in your emotional realm, look at then the body was able to take in the BRM4 and mm -hmm. do what it's supposed to do, mm -hmm. because you were fighting against it with all the other negative things. Wouldn't you agree, Doctor? I would, you know, and I, I, I would say that that, uh, that with taking BRM4, you can actually feel a, uh, th there's kind of a reverse effect. Mm -hmm. If you help the immune system, it's going to improve your sense of well-being and your mood. But there's nothing about it that chemically could explain it being a, a mood elevator, except yes. the fact that it seems to improve uh, the immune system. Yes. And the immune system is how we decide what's me and what's not me, yes. what belongs and what doesn't belong. Well, let's, you know, let's talk about a little bit and hit a little bit on the, the immune system. Mm -hmm. People hear a lot of talk on immune system, but we know it, it, it hits many, many organs of the body. Mm -hmm. So it's not like just the thymus gland, you know. So let's just talk a little bit about the immune system itself because we have the cardiovascular system, we have... Uh, the GI system, we have other systems. So let's just talk a little bit more about the immune system so people can really see the benefit of how this really work in the body. This natural killer cell, BRM4, how does it really work because of that immune system? So let's just let's talk a, bit a little bit about that. Well, th I think the immune system is interesting because back in the 80s when there was an AIDS epidemic, there was a lot of study of the immune system. And this was in conventional mainstream uh, medical science, the first occurrence of, of thinking in terms of whole systems mm -hmm. instead of separate parts right. because the immune system interpenetrates different systems. 
an important part of the, the immune system is the the uh, the mucous membranes in the gastrointestinal tract. Yes. And then the bone marrow, and then what's called the reticuloendothelial system, which is throughout the, the connective tissue of the body, and of course there there's the thymus gland, and uh, so there there's an endocrine factor. There there's a uh, there's a hematological factor, there's a digestive factor, and, and all of these are, are the And I'm going to have you slow down a little because I want, I want people to see that on the screen there, on the endocrine mm -hmm. system, and what the endocrine system look like. Mm -hmm. So, um, and the thymus is the, is and the, and the piece the thymus, there. Yeah. Yes, so if they can see, visualize that as well for mm -hmm. those who are going to be watching the show on the endocrine system. And then we have the other system that you just mentioned. Well, the hematological, so that's the, that's the blood production. Mm -hmm. So the bone marrow is where the white blood cells and the red blood cells uh, are produced. And um, the immune system can, uh, can get damaged with uh, different kinds of conventional treatment, and that's, that's especially true in the case of cancer. And in Japan, there are probably, you know, Mr. Shirai can perhaps uh, correct me on this, but I, I know that at one point there were at least 2,000 clinics and hospitals that were using uh, RBAC, using a, a products like BRM4, for protecting the immune system in cancer treatment. Mm -hmm. Now, it doesn't interfere with the chemotherapy. That's but what I was going to ask you but next. But it, it can prevent, uh, one of the dangers of chemotherapy is if, if the, the bone marrow is damaged, then the red cells can't be produced and people get anemic and weak. And the white cells can't be produced, and people can get an infection and die. Then they didn't die of cancer. And that's they very they die of pneumonia instead of yeah, cancer. And that's very yeah. common. That's yeah. very common. But, yeah. but the, uh, the, the RBAC seems to protect the bone marrow. And there are even some cases where people don't lose their hair and uh, have much better, um, uh, much fewer symptoms with, uh, with the, the stomach the and GI. intestines yes. and the, the nausea and all that. Because I've had people who were taking chemo and taking the BRM4 mm -hmm. along with it because there's no, no interaction there. Mm -hmm. And even though they, their hair got a little thin, mm -hmm. but when it grew back, it was super thick and healthy, mm -hmm. even beautiful, more beautiful than it vibrant than it was prior to the chemotherapy. So they lost now a little. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen that. Oh that's my like goodness, the hair was just mm -hmm. gorgeous and just, mm -hmm. it, it was like rebirth of. Well, so there, there's a cosmetic benefit of, of uh, these. Oh <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> and especially for women, you know, we don't want to go bald, mm -hmm. no. and so mm -hmm. and you know, a lot of the men has mm -hmm. become fashionable, but even with them who don't want to be bald, they don't want to be bald. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I've seen some really mm -hmm. great. Things happen, uh, Doctor Lee. I, I wanted to add yes, regarding the chemotherapy combination therapy of chemo and BRM4. The recent study shows that BRM4 using the BRM4 really alleviate, uh, mitigate the side effects of chemotherapy. And one of the f one of the phenomena is that exactly the hair loss. And if you take the BRM4 with the keep with the chemo compa compared to the chemo chemo alone, a huge difference between the hair loss. Very few people get the hair loss compared to the mm -hmm. compared and that to becomes that. very depressing with people their personal appearance to lose their hair, mm -hmm. especially with mm -hmm. our younger generation. Mm -hmm. And there is actually several uh, patients right now who are watching the show from their hospital bed uh, because they're having chemo today, mm -hmm. and so um, they took their BRM4 with them, uh, so they have it with them. And the good thing about it, there's research. Mm -hmm. There's research and documentation. Mm -hmm. So we're not just saying, take this, like a lot of things are on the market and some of these health food stores, and you run in there and get it, and somebody say, well, you can take this. This is research. Well, this is human clinical research. Uh, there's also and thank you. animal no. research, but we're talking human, human. clinical research Big in difference. hospitals, in universities, in this country, in Japan, uh, Thailand, and Mr. Shirai knows all the places. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think Italy and Spain as well, yes. yeah. Oh my! Uh, so th this is this yeah, is. Uh, I had a chance to meet a lot of those people mm -hmm. in the conference. Yes. Oh, that was such amazing mm -hmm. conference. Well, there were some doctors that were using the BRM4, uh, along with other botanicals, as uh, standalone treatments mm -hmm. and, and not using the uh, chemotherapy and radiation at all. Right. I met some the. I don't, I don't recommend mm -hmm. that necessarily, but uh, yeah, the yeah. turmeric was one. The, mm -hmm. the curcumin mm -hmm. with the BRM4 mm -hmm. seems to have a synergy. Mm -hmm. So, but you know that when we look at a patient, 
um, and I know you do as well too, Dr. Kenner, is that we look at the whole person. Mm -hmm. So getting the complete history, the physical examination, and to see what else maybe need to be added, um, you know, good essential fatty acid, good EFA, medium chain fatty acid. So you not just looking at keying it on one, but we have to look at one of the major components of what's gonna play a major role in helping that person to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find the BRN for. I'm not trying to produce an infomercial today, but I'm just saying I've seen the results. Um, I had a situation where I end up having a CT scan because I've had a history of pulmonary embolisms in the past. So um, because I had this situation, they I, I allowed them to do years ago a CT scan of the lungs of myself and something else. Well, from the nuclear medicine, it caused me to have six tumors around my, my thyroid. Mm -hmm. And one day I'm, I'm swallowing, I'm like, I'm choking. Mm. So luckily my ultrasound company was in the office doing a test on someone and I had him to check me and he said, you have six. I really advise you to go get a biopsy, which we're gonna talk about too in a minute. And I said, well, for me, this is my body. I, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm going to, you know, enhance what I'm taking here, and that's what I did on the BRM4, and he retested me, and all six are just about gone. So one was pretty large, mm -hmm. and it's gone. So I just want to say that my own testimony and what I see myself, and it also gave me uh, my GFR for kidney function. If I had kept going and not knowing and test did the blood work my own self, I probably would have been on dialysis by now mm -hmm. based on doing the nuclear medicine. So I'm not saying it happens to everyone, but I'm saying if you have CT scans or any type of scans, please check your blood work, test, don't guess, mm -hmm. and see what's going on with your kidneys, your liver. You know, see what's going on with the organs because that, they said, uh, you know, it leaves the body and it's not toxic, but you know, what is nuclear medicine? Radiation. Yeah. So does it all leave your body? Um, it creates byproducts uh, that, that can be difficult to get rid of, mm -hmm. and it can damage cells. And if, the, uh, if your uh, natural killer cell activity isn't up to speed, then it, it can create uh, deposits of, uh, of, of toxic cells that can be a seed for future health problems. Exactly. Exactly. So, so if you're starting into something and you're taking it and the family's taking it, taking this, we're bon bombarded, you know, with environmental toxins. We're mm -hmm. bombarded with toxins in our house. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're in, we can't do anything about that. But you can do something about what you're putting in your body, what you're feeding in your body, what you're thinking about, your emotions. Those things you can control. Mm -hmm. But a lot of things in this world we cannot. What's in the water and how toxic it is. Mm -hmm. You know, the GMOs, what they're spraying on our food crop. We can't control a lot of this, but again, we can control what we're taking, mm -hmm. which I think is very important. Mm -hmm. That's why I like exactly. the BRM4. Yeah. Well, it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties too, mm -hmm. so that, that can be uh, a part of the benefit if you had a lot of uh, congestion and, and uh, coagulation in the throat area. Yeah, and so that's why it helped. Now. One of the, the other benefits, I have uh, a group of people that I work with who have had breast implants. Mm -hmm. um, I want to kind of talk about people who have had implants. Some were implants after a radical mastectomy, and some were implants just for sexual enhancement. Or, mm -hmm. Well, maybe that wasn't the right word, but <laughs> mm -hmm. just to, to look nice. Aesthetic. Aesthetic, thank right, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sexual enhancement. So, yeah. Where am I going? Yeah, well, <laughs> well, that's where it leads, I think. Right. <laughs> but, but the purpose of aesthetic enhancement yeah, is. Yeah, my body actually went blank. to something else. So. <laughs> 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 but um, taking the BRM4 is uh, it's a preventative. Say if a person's going in, number one, for biopsy. Um, secondly, for if they have implants. Mm -hmm. Because we know they keep saying it's safe, it's safe. Uh, especially for the ones, I think it's been a recall on uh, some of the implants for people who had uh, radical bilateral biopsies that it's been a recall on some of that. Mm -hmm. it's, been in, it's been in the news. So if a person is doing something of this nature or taking something, would that help their prevention as far as their, their immune system? Well, these are traumas. 
and you know, even a, even an, a needle biopsy is still a trauma, mm -hmm. and certainly an implant is a trauma because right. it requires an incision. And in 1992, at the University of Frankfurt in Germany, they discovered that uh, cancer surgery can promote metastasis. And Say it was that again. Oh, my well goodness. It, it People was, need to hear well that. Well, now it's been discovered here. Now, right. it's been discovered in America mm -hmm. that, uh, that, that surgery and even biopsies can, can, can promote metastasis. Uh, people are, are much more aware of it. Yes. And at first, uh, medical researchers were saying, well, we don't really know why that happens. But it seems obvious to me that you get inflammation. Mm -hmm. You get normal inflammation from, right. from surgery. And the inflammatory byproducts are what promote cancer development, uh, cancer, uh, and spread, and metastasis. Yes. You know, because I had a lady who um, had, uh, she had a mass in her breast. And when they did the biopsy, as you know, you know, the needle goes in, and they pull it out. And as they're pulling out the tissue, it spread it. Mm -hmm. And then all the way coming straight across her breast, it was all enlarged and swollen. That's why I personally refuse for a, you know, a biopsy of my... But it can crop up anywhere. It, yeah. it, it isn't necessarily an erosion of, of malignant cells right. from a local area because the inflammatory byproducts are systemic and it can crop up somewhere else that's, uh, that's trying to, to develop mm. a, uh, a malignant uh, situation. Yes. I, I like, I like the, the, the picture here, the kiss of death. Um, that picture was, is, it says a lot, you mm -hmm. know, um, uh, natural killer cells target antigens and, and see the granule. That, that picture speaks volumes. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that picture. Somehow they know when they see one, you know, an abnormal cell, whether it's a normal cell that, that's, uh, that's died or if it's infected or if it's malignant, mm -hmm. it, it, it's able to recognize them and attach. And that's what it does. It attaches and then blows it up, kablooey. Yeah, so we, we use it for autoimmune diseases as well. I think we kind of found well that. Well, that, that's the uh, immunomodulator part because okay. with autoimmunity, you've got hyperactive uh, immune activity that needs to be settled down. And an immune stimulant might have the opposite effect and uh, create a, a, a worse situation. But an immunomodulator will actually calm down the, the autoimmunity. Okay. And with a chronic fatigue syndrome, a chronic fatigue immune dysfunction, mm -hmm. you know, we see that so much today. And a lot of people will come in with chronic, 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 chronic. And they're bombarded by the environment and, and bombarded by so many things. But um, let's, let's kind of dive into that a little bit because that is a serious matter right now. Well, the, the, the chronic fatigue could be uh, psychogenic, for example, because it could be from an emotional trauma, and that can result in, uh, in a decreased immune activity. But it can also be uh, a viral infection, uh, Epstein-Barr, cytomegalovirus. Um, it, it would be inaccurate to say, it would not be accurate to, to say that uh, the supplement is antiviral because right. a lot of viruses, right. we, we harbor them. You know, yes. Herpes they're virus, they're for example. Epstein-Barr virus is there. And so they're opportunistic. Not. And if the immune system activity gets low from, from trauma, from weakness, from poor diet, from, uh, from a chronic infection uh, of some other type, then the, uh, the viruses can come out of the woodwork mm -hmm. and express themselves. And the natural killer cell activity can not only prevent that, it can actually reverse it. Amazing. Well, I have seen things reversed through lab. Mm -hmm. Again, I test, don't guess. Mm -hmm. So I have seen the results in lab work. And while I'm there in lab work, and, you know, I tell people, you know, because people are listening in from all over the world. Uh, unfortunately, this lab is not all over the world, but in a lot of states it is. There's a few states it isn't. And that's Life Extension. And you can go to lifeextension.com, mm -hmm. and you can order a male panel, female panel, you can order your, uh, your, your tests to find out what your inflammatory markers are. Mm -hmm. So your C-reactive protein, your homeocysteine levels, um, your plasma, mm -hmm. and um, your serum insulin levels, because th those are high. You're going to be in a lot of trouble there. So what other lab would you suggest? 
Well, they did some um, study at a hospital in, uh, in Glasgow, and they were curious about, th they were seeing cancer patients, and they were curious about why did some die so quickly and other ones seemed to survive and, and turn things around. And so they looked at all the lab studies and they found the inflammatory markers were, were key. And they, uh, based on their research, they, they have, I can't give you the exact numbers, but there's a ratio of serum albumin, which is a blood protein, and C-reactive protein, CRP for short. And when those are at a certain proportion, there's a threshold at which that's very dangerous and can mean uh, the person is going to die. Right. There are some uh, alternative um, methods of, uh, of diagnosis also. There's an enzyme called magalase that, uh, that you can test for. Magalase inactivates glycoproteins produced by the liver that activate macrophages. And macrophages are the big white cells that engulf bacteria right. and, and swallow them up and break them down. Mm -hmm. We've all seen videos of that, you know, when we were in school. And the macrophages don't get activated if there aren't certain factors available to them. And this nagalase enzyme can inactivate them, and that's something that can be tested for. Um, there are the classic uh, uh, tumor markers. Um, it, we could get into this uh, for a long time. I, I don't <laughs> want to get too technical. No, we, we won't make it too technical. But, but um, if the if the people have some of the basic ones, mm -hmm. you know, and, and and those are the ones that I kind of mentioned too, and you have others, um, we want to really kind of stay on what this product is doing because it's just been so amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that um, there's been all the studies, and that again, I keep. I keep saying that on studies mm -hmm. because there's so many things out there and there's so many products. I mean, we're so inundated. Every day somebody's calling me and said, you want to be part of this company because it's network marketing. That kind of scares me a little bit sometimes with the network marketing mm -hmm. a little bit because of the fact sometime down the line it gets diluted, mm -hmm. you know, and it gets diluted for money. There's some, there's one in particular I, I really think is wonderful. Um, there's a very dear friend of mine who's on one of the, of the shows with, but a lot of times it's just so this is not a network marketing company correct that's correct yeah that's correct so you can obtain it through uh, calling us at new wellness Healthcare. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other doctors all over the world that are carrying this product too well it's, it's over the counter and you know uh, mr shirai can address this but yes the, the standards of production are pharmaceutical grade if they wanted to make it if they wanted to make it a prescription drug they've met those standards but they chose to keep it over the counter so that people can use it mm -hmm. for so people can use it for their cold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're we're going to so uh, I, I want you to to yes. mention the over the counter mm -hmm. one because mm -hmm. and before we get into that because yes. I I almost think it was you that I met like years and years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I was at a conference in Century City, and I was using this product with many many people. Um, some in the entertainment field that had, and I don't like the C word as much, so I'll just say abnormal cells. Mm -hmm. um, and they had this going on, and so I had them on a product called MGN3. Mm -hmm. And so uh, from one of the health food stores used to carry it, and actually it's such a popular product then, they kept it under lock and key <laughs> so it wouldn't disappear. <laughs> mm -hmm. But all of a sudden, you know, after several years, it was gone. And I'm like, what happened to it? I couldn't find it. It was gone. And then I was at this conference in Century City. And lo and behold, I think you were the last table way in the back. And I got there, and I'm like, oh, tell me about what you're doing. What is your business about? And I looked down at the paperwork, and I saw MGN3. And I'm like, yes, it's back. Mm -hmm. It's back because it's so powerful. But not as MGN3 as, you know, as um, uh, BRM4. So now you do have a version of it because the BRM4 is like 500 milligrams. So it's therapeutic. It's a little stronger. And that's why you want to be on a, a practitioner um, uh, who know what they're doing to have you on the supplement. Because like I say, you don't want to do a standalone sometime. There might be other things you need. You might need to look at the lab work and see what else is going on. Because you can give things a bad name and say, you know, I took that. It didn't help. 
well, maybe we didn't know you had some other things. You should have been doing some other things as well. Maybe your vitamin D 25-hydroxy uh, level was very, very low. We don't know what's going on for you to go run and go grab something off the shelf and say, I'm going to try to self-cure, self-treat myself. You should really be under someone um, to, and I, and I call it teamwork. It's teamwork. We work together as a team so that we can help uh, you to heal. So tell us about the one over the counter. Yes, the, the, the product uh, over the counter, the brand name is Peak Immune 4. And, uh, it's now say that again. Peak Immune 4. That's uh, like over the, the counter product. Peak. 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 Okay. Peak. We're gonna not peekaboo, but yeah, yeah. Peak. peak. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Did we did we have a picture of that? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, we we were have only for the VRM4. Okay. Uh, but uh, peak immune four only has a two hundred caps capsule with a two hundred fifty milligram of the active. So five hundred milligram is as you said, for the, the professional. Yes. yes. So this is 250 milligrams over the counter. Over the counter. And this will keep your immune system at peak. That's why <laughs> it's called peak. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, peak performance. So mm -hmm. I want people to know that. And where is this sold right now? Um, it's sold in uh, he here, I, I think, I think um, uh, mo Mother's Market. Okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. For example, the Mother's Market. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to talk to a couple of people mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the communities mm -hmm. and see if they can carry it mm -hmm. too. Matter of fact, I mm -hmm. probably should take you by there because peak performance is going to be very good for people just because of what's going on in the environment. So I think everyone wants a peak performance. I think you will not forget that name, <laughs> peak <laughs> performance, mm -hmm. because we want to have a peak uh, performance. Now, we, we're almost out of time, so I want to give each of you uh, about a minute to look into the camera, just like if you were sitting in front of an audience, and what is your parting words that you want them to know? So we're going to start with you, Doctor. Certainly, thank you. Okay, and uh, that's your camera there. Well, first of all, I, I, when I see clients, I've had people bring in grocery bags filled with supplements, and we go through the whole thing. Sometimes it takes an hour to go through it. We yes. find a lot of redundancy. And so we're able to eliminate a lot of things and, and uh, maintain uh, the functions that, that people, uh, maintain the goals that people want to achieve. But one thing that I always recommend to everyone is something for supporting the immune system. And there are other things that you can use, but I don't know of anything that is more bioavailable and that has more research and that's been more tested with uh, patients with life-threatening diseases. So I end up uh, recommending BRM4 for uh, almost every client that, uh, that comes my way. Wonderful. And the emotion component that you brought up was wonderful. So if well you yeah, missed that on the one show. One more thing I, that I could say about no, that please. is, is that, that when what one, I had a, a patient who was in his 80s and he was in the hospital with pneumonia in January a few years ago. June of that year, he was still coughing and his wife was getting terrified. He, he's not mm -hmm. better. I said, I want you to get this immune supplement. It's made from a cultured mushrooms. Take it for six weeks. And uh, that guy didn't have a sniffle, didn't have a cold that year. I recommend it for people who are getting surgery because surgery is a trauma. Yes. And there's interesting research that shows that the leading cause of late death after a trauma Late death means the, the blow on the head didn't kill you, you didn't bleed to death. But six weeks later, people die of infections. Yes. And that's the leading cause of late death after a trauma. And that's why I think it's important for people recovering from surgery to use a product like this that will support their immune system. Thanks exactly. for letting me add that in. Thank you, because I thought, I didn't want to forget that. We spoke about that last night, right, but yeah. I did not want to forget that. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to turn the Norisha, I um, yes. thank, Norisha, uh, thank first, you. Uh, fine, uh, thank first, I, I like to uh, extend our gratitude. Uh, you have uh, lots of choice, but you chose this to, to listen to us for s s s quite some time. I, I really ha I appreciate that. Uh, for, uh, I finally, I wanted to share our company's uh, vision, uh, f uh, the com company who produces this product, BRM4. Our vision, our company vision is to help people live healthy lives and enhance their overall well-being by applying the principles of bioscience while respecting the laws of nature. We call this vision, Daiwa called this vision, quality of life. 
And we, we really highly think that the respecting the laws of nature is highly, highly important. That's who we are. Who we are. That's a Daiwa Pharmaceutical who produces this product, BR4. Thank you so much. Oh, the law of nature. Yes. Mm. That's so powerful. The law yes, of that's nature. That's how we think. Mm. That's oh, our philosophy. No wonder I gravitated to this product many, many years ago mm. before I even knew the mission statement. Uh, it's just been wonderful. And I want to thank you both for being a guest. This has been such an amazing, amazing program. Thank you so much for taking the time, take your, for s flying in. <laughs> yeah. And thank you so much, Doctor, for flying well, in as well. Thank this you. has been me. wonderful. So I just want to tell everyone, as I end my show, um, to repeat after me, please. I am, I am. I am. so grateful. So grateful that I am, that I am. That a, I magnet am. a magnet, a magnet for miracles. For miracles. Now I don't have my badge on today, but we're all magnet for miracles. Love yourself, love someone. If it's no one else there, give yourself a big hug today. And most important, it's no cost to you. Give someone a smile. Have a blessed day. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for a new Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body. Thank you.